Hey guys, so I am editing this video a lot later than it has been filmed and I realized that I had no clip explaining what was going on at the beginning of the week and what was going through my mind. So I thought I would do a voiceover to explain basically what happened. So Sunday morning I was taking care of the dogs um, and I went to church and I lit a candle for Alex because I got a phone call that morning from Alex on someone else's cell phone that he was in quarantine with a virus. Sorry, I just thought that clip was so funny and that I had to keep it in. But basically, Alex told me that he was in quarantine for a couple of days with the virus. They didn't bring him his foam or um, his toothbrush, um, even a towel to shower with. He was there and couldn't get in contact with me and let me know what was going on. So when he called me, I was obviously very upset and very worried. But I know Alex and I know that he was going to push through and try to get out and give it his best and finish the last couple of days strong and he even says now that he's happy it happened over the weekend instead of during the week so he didn't miss that much um, besides talking to me. But basically all of these clips throughout the beginning of the week are just me keeping myself busy, running errands, hanging out with friends as often as I could, trying to take my mind off of everything because we really didn't know if he was going to get better or if he was going to graduate for sure because we had no contact with him whatsoever. We got a western omelet, some french fries, some white toast, keep it very simple. Yeah. Sam here got some chicken soup, so. Yeah, mashed potatoes and peas. Have I vlogged you this summer yet? I don't think individually I was well, featured for, in the New Year's. For so. everyone that doesn't remember, Spencer, <laughs> go check out the New Year's Eve vlog when we it's won left, right, time. center, and we split the money. It's a great time. That was, that was a good time. That was one of my better vlogs. <laughs> Alright guys, so don't mind me, my eyebrows and my upper lip are a little red because I just got rid of my unibrow mustache. But I wanted to show you guys this shirt because I showed you guys in the beginning of the vlog me cutting it and making it and then I didn't really have time to explain. Oh, it's so sparkly. I love it. I didn't really have time to explain why I got it and whatever. So when I was down the shore with Deb and her friends... In Seaside we came across a store and I went in to look at a completely different shirt and then all of a sudden I saw like um, police officer shirts firefighter shirts um, and then I just came across this marine shirt and I fell in love with it I just thought it was really cool and the first thing I thought of was making it into a dress which I got like an extra large so I could do but I tucked it into 
my leggings today, but it totally could be a dress. It literally goes down to right at my fingertips or right above. As soon as I saw it, I just thought it was so cool. With the gold shimmer on it, it really just adds something to the shirt and I liked the whole design of it. And as soon as I saw it, I just pictured it being a shirt um, that was cut to make it look like it had a choker. Now, funny story, this is actually the back of the shirt and the front of the shirt actually has this on the back, but I thought that was fine. There was only one little thing um, on the back, but I just thought it was cuter like this in the front. Um, and I just saw it and I had to have it and I was looking for another one in Alex's size and they only had like large and extra large so I did get him a pretty big t-shirt um, not the same exact one but a different Marines one um, obviously I'm not going to cut his up he'll probably cut the sleeves off of it or something but I just thought that this was really cute and it is the first of many of my Marines apparel and if you're interested this is the shirt I got Alex this is the back of it and then the front of it and honestly I could totally see him cutting off the sleeves and cutting it a little shirt shorter and making it into a gym shirt or something or he might leave it the way it is I just thought that these shirts were really nice like I like the design they weren't regular shirts that just said Marines like the one that I've been wearing I actually stole that from Alex um, I just really like the designs of them and it was so random that I found them in that store um, but I really love them and I really, really like how my shirt came out. Oh, but so sweet. It's amazing. Hi. What's up, dude? What's up? Right now I'm getting gas, but then I'm going to go get Rob a bath. Well, I'm not going to. I'm going to pay someone to because I really like this place that I go to. They do a really good job, and I feel like my car's disgusting right now. It honestly looks like I took home like half the beach with me. So I'm gonna go do that. Change the station for them because I know that they like this station. Stopping and doing one more errand. Oh, and I made a very sweet friend while I was waiting. It was this nice older man, um, and we were just sitting there talking about Alex and the Marines and about my car and Jeeps because I'm a Jeep girl. Shout out to him, I didn't get his name, but he was a very nice old man, and no one in New Jersey is that nice and wants to make conversation most of the time, so that was like a nice little surprise right there. It's 84 degrees out. If I get back early enough, I'm gonna go sit out by the pool for a little bit, because I just know I'm not gonna edit any videos today. It's not gonna happen. I'm like just so over it. I want him home.
Brenda. He's the one with the buzz cut and the power. So we're sitting here and I'm playing my webkins and FaceTiming my family and I have my headphones in but they can hear me and Brandon. Brandon just can't hear them. But Brandon is literally texting my dad. They're texting each other. And I feel left out because I don't know what's going on. Hey guys, so welcome to Telling Guys. Today we're going to be doing a, a food review. My little jelly pizza. No, it's just a jelly pizza. Shh. I don't know if this is going to be good. Wings, we'll give them the average 5 out of 10. Hot sauce, we'll give them the average 3 out of 10. We'll give the pizza an average 4 out of 10. And this has been a legit food review by Italian Guy 69 That's not, it's not my name, Brandon. My dad's laughing at me. Oh. She's all over, she's back before. Yeah, right in the train. Don't stop with the finger, I hate wearing that out. <laughs> you <gotta get> us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys figure it out. I'm gonna vlog it. There he is. He's got the green hat on and the hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Duncan, go by him. Who's in my room? Who's in my room? Go. Go to Alex. Go to... He's so confused. Duncan, go. Oh, good boy. Good boy. You're a good boy. Come here. Come here. Oh, thank you. How does it feel to be home? Just good. Finally. Is it weird? Nice shirt, Tan. It is weird. It's been long weeks. It's going to be weird sleeping in my bed tonight. You know what's going to be weird is having a lot of, like, possessions because, you know, I didn't really have anything over there that I could, I mean, you know, just, I didn't have anything, really. I know. Well, you I said that in my, your last life. letter that made me cry. Yeah. I'm really pissed you didn't get my last letter. I hope they send it home. I hope they send it home too. I don't know where it would be. Well, so I got your letter in isolation and they just like didn't get it to me. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. God, I miss that butt. <laughs>